Hi everybody, welcome back to the Wisconsin Greg Show. Uh, I'm down here at my pole barn right now and uh, cleaning up some stones and rocks and dirt and stuff that got dug up from me uh, plowing snow this winter. One of the joys of Wisconsin living is picking up stones in your yard after you plow, especially if you got a gravel driveway. Uh, this is at my pole barn which is down the road from my house, uh, but I just got done doing it at my house. Uh, a little while like a week ago or so uh, So now I got to get this cleaned up before the grass starts turning green once it turns green. It's impossible to get the stones out of there, so uh, Just wanted to show you one of the joys and then after I get done with this I'm gonna go down the road and uh, move that big brush pile with the tractor out into the middle of the field so I can burn it uh, I'm not gonna burn it today, but I want to get her moved out there. So it's ready to burn uh, It's a little too windy today uh, there was some tornado uh, watches. It hasn't turned into a warning yet around here today. Uh, but I think it's going to blow over. I think it's just uh, precautionary in case something should happen. So uh, I'll flip this camera over here quick. This is what I got to deal with. I got to rake all these up here today. It was one of my least favorite jobs. I don't know if you can see, there's lots of stones out here in the grass. I didn't do too bad this winter. I was pretty cautious, uh, but there's a couple spots here, and it's going to take me probably an hour or so to get these raked up. Um, then I'll get the tractor and I'll head down uh, to my house and we'll push that bush brush pile out into the field. Catch you later. Okay, I'm down here in the tractor. I was going to set up the tripod, but it was kind of breezy and windy out there and it was going to make a lot of wind noise, so I decided to use the um, windshield mount that I just recently purchased. So I let you, I'll let you ride right along in the tractor with me while I push this brush pile out into the field. <laughs> I'm not sure if you were watching my video yesterday. Uh, I was telling how I cut this brush down all along the roadway here. Uh, last year, but didn't have time to burn it because it was green, so I pushed it into the corner here. Um, been kind of an eyesore all year, so I'm be happy to get rid of it. Uh, my eventual goal is to want to tear the fence line out along the road to keep these trees from growing. Uh, it's like you cut them down, and two or three years later, you got to cut them right down again and just keep growing and growing. Uh, so what I want to do is get the fence line out of there and trim them right down to the ground and then I can mow uh, with a bat wing to control them and keep them from coming back. Uh, I put this over here in this corner and which is right next to my garden. Uh, that was kind of a bad idea because the rabbits all decided that this was a nice home and they were kind of attacking my garden last year so I got to get this out of here. Uh, I'm going to push it out in the field and get it away from the OP tank near the house here so I can burn it. Uh, I got a few more trees on the other side of the house on the fence line over there that I want to cut down and throw on the top of here yet before I burn it. So I won't be burning it today, but probably in about a week or so I'll be burning this pile to get rid of it. Uh, I'm going to have to get rid of it soon so I can uh, start working the fields and put potash on because this is going to be one of the first fields planted. Uh, this was a soybean field last year. It'll be the cornfield this year. I uh, rotate my crops. I got 40 acres of corn and 40 acres of soybeans, and they flip-flop each year. Uh, so I'm going to get going on this and see if I can hit, sneak onto the grass without doing much damage and get behind this pile and push her out. So hopefully my windshield mount will work and not be too shaky. So let's go get her done.
rooted it up a little bit here, but it won't be too bad. I'll fix that with a field cultivator. <clears throat> I got a few little pieces of garbage and some sticks and uh, stuff to pick up. Not too much though, just a little bit. And then I'll be done with this for now. Uh, I got a few other trees on the other side of the house I want to throw on here before I burn it. So uh, my uh, video camera cut off right at the very end, so you missed a little bit, but not much. Uh, I had to clear some stuff out of my memory so I could continue on here. But I got her out there where I want it to be. And uh, about a week or so, we'll have a big old fire here. It's been an eyesore for a long, long time. So, got the tractor a little muddy, uh, but it's going to get dirty out in the field. So, we'll give her a wash job, and uh, it'll be okay. Did its job. It had me wandering there for a minute. So, I'm going to end this video now. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the little ride pushing the brush and uh, watching what I'm doing around here on the farm. I appreciate all your uh, views and uh, thumbs up and thanks again for watching. Have a great day everybody.